Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Game Esoteric and our continuing series on that Mr. FPGA DE10 Nanobore. And just like we did a video on the Game Boy Advance 2 player core, we're going to be showing you guys how to install and set up the Game Boy and Game Boy Color 2 player core. Because while the installation process is quite similar, this core does have different options and it felt like it needed its own video. Before we get too far involved though, if you need me a huge favor, go down below, hit like and subscribe, and that notification bell it definitely helps us out. And if you feel so inclined and want to support the channel, we have a Patreon link down below in the description as well. But just like the Game Boy Advance 2 player core, the Game Boy 2 player core is giving us the same options, which is to play two instances of the same hardware on an individual core. And just like I mentioned before in the previous video, if you just go to the main Mr. GitHub page, I'll leave a link in the description below, you're going to see an option for both Game Boy Advance and Game Boy 2 player cores. And we're going to get a lot of information down here. It is useful to read. You're going to need that SD RAM add-on. It doesn't specify what size. At this point in time, I think most people have the 128 megabyte one. So if you don't have one, that is what I recommend you purchase. It's going to give you the same information on what folders you need to create and what you need to put the BIOS in. And it's just going to give you options on how the save games work as well and tell you what the video output options are. Because just like the Game Boy Advance two player core, you can have the analog I.O. board connected to a different monitor so you have two instances of the core running on two different televisions. But all you need to do is download the zip file from the code, it's at the top of the page, and you need to unzip that file as well. Once we go into the folder, you're going to see a lot of different options, but the only file that we need is under releases. Everything else is just part of the code. You don't need to copy that over. This RBF file is the core, so just go ahead and copy that, and we'll have to come over here and install it onto the Mr. manually because this doesn't come down with update or update all. So if we just go into Mr. Data and we go under the console folder, all those RBF files are the core files. We just paste over the Game Boy 2 player core and now it is installed. But we do still need to do a little bit of folder setup to make sure everything else is working. So if you come into games, you're just going to create a new folder and we're going to call that Game Boy 2 and the letter P. The GitHub tells us to leave it capitalized, so we're going to do exactly that. I would assume it would work if it wasn't, but we're following the directions to a T to make sure when you're watching this, you know how to do it. But we do need the boot1.rom file from our Game Boy installation. Just go ahead to the Game Boy folder, copy and paste that boot1.rom over to the new folder we just created. And you can folderize your ROMs as well. I've got an option in there for color in the original Game Boy folder. But just pop over to Game Boy 2P and you can paste the boot1.rom file in and now you're good. You can put whatever ROMs you want here. And you can, from the two-player core, select ROMs that are in different folders. But for ease of use, since these ROMs are so tiny, I just recommend having more than one version of them on your mister. So if I want to bring over Wacky Races, it's not compatible. It's just the file that I picked as far as two-player games are concerned. Just copy it from your Game Boy folder and paste it into your Game Boy two-player folder. It's as easy as moving around ROMs like that. And you'll see the minute we get into the core with Bomberman Quest right here, we're good to go. You can have the line separator just like the Game Boy Advance core. There aren't as many options as far as the video in the Game Boy core compared to the Game Boy Advance, so we have plenty here that we don't really need to worry about anything. But just like Game Boy Advance, you're going to have to set up each game individually, just picking whatever menu option allows for a Link game. I picked a two-player game for Dr. Mario here, and everything just automatically works. And that's what 90% of what you're going to experience is, is things are just going to work perfectly fine. And again, I'm one person playing a game in two instances, so it's not going to be very good. But everything is synced up from one core to the other. There is no lag in the controller, there's no lag in the video or audio. You really don't know that you are playing a two-player instance. It's just so incredible that this code is able to run two Game Boys at once on one FPGA chip. And you have to absolutely love that because it gives you a ton of fun. You'll see the left player won, the right player lost, and everything syncs up fine. And moving over to Samurai Showdown, a two-player fighting game, if there was any lag in the inputs or if there was any issues with the core syncing, you would instantly be able to tell because fighting games, you need those inputs quick. You need to be able to feel like you have a connection to your character. And I will say, even though I was playing against myself, every time I pushed a button, it registered on both screens at the exact same time. And if there was any lag, it was imperceivable 
available to me. So if you can play a fighting game on this core, then any other game that you could possibly want to play will work perfectly fine because I checked in the editing system and this is 1 60th of a second and each frame lines up perfectly. But the audio is great as well, so go ahead and listen for like 30-45 seconds and I'll come back and tell you more about why the Game Boy 2 player core is incredible. But enjoy! So yeah, just like the standard Game Boy and Game Boy Color Core, the audio is perfect here and there's no issues even over running two instances of the same hardware on an individual chip. I'm moving over to Super Chase HQ. This has a really fun multiplayer mode. One person is the police, the other person is the criminal, and the criminal needs to try to outrun you and you need to try to catch up with the criminal. And again, I'm playing this with both my hands and I use my mouth to push a couple of the buttons. Don't worry about it. I didn't have a buddy home at the time. But again, it's an awesome multiplayer game, and that's what's so much fun, because like I mentioned in the Game Boy Advance 2-player core review and setup guide, how often are you going to be next to somebody with a Game Boy and a Link cable and two of the same cartridge? This core allows you to experience things that you never experienced before from the comfort of your couch, because my wife and I did play this last night. I was testing it out before I did the video, and it's great. It looks amazing on a 16x9 television because both core windows are quite large. Now, like the GitHub says, not everything is supported. Supported. I could not get Donkey Kong Country to link. The link option is just not there. So your mileage may vary and it's not at all a knock on the core. This is in beta and the GitHub notes specifically say not everything supported. Things like Mario Tennis here when I go to linked play, I select it on one instance of the core and I go ahead and go to linked play on the other one and it just basically interrupts the link and you need to reset. It just doesn't work and that's fine. Things will improve from there. But as far as being able to play Game Boy and Game Boy Color games in two player on Mister, it's absolutely incredible. Just sitting on the couch with my wife and I, two controllers in our hand, both playing a Game Boy game is perfect. I can't say how nice this core is because like I mentioned just about a minute ago, how often are you really going to find a second person with a Game Boy to play this? That's something you have to plan well in advance. You're just not going to meet someone on the street who has the same game and a link cable in their backpack. And if you do, definitely play against them because that would just be straight up awesome. Short of that, if you have any questions or comments, I'll leave them down below. I'll love chatting with you guys. So if you need any help getting these cores set up, if you miss something in the video, just leave me a comment and I'm always happy to answer and help you guys as much as I can. I will be back next Thursday with another video in our Mr. Series and I'll have videos on Friday, Sunday, Tuesday, and Wednesday as well. But yeah, Game Boy and Game Boy Color two player core. I give it two thumbs up because there's two cores and I have two thumbs. Short of that, I'll see you guys next time and I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye bye.